Hey everyone, welcome back to Making Made Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do something that sounds impossible at first. Running the Mistral 7B language model at full precision on a Raspberry Pi 5 with just 4 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, this actually works and I will show you step by step how to set it up on your own Raspberry Pi 5. Now this is not something you would use as a chat bot like with chat GPT. Uh, th it takes about 5 minutes per word on the responses. So what this would be good for would be like AI powered weather stations and stuff like that where it can take sensor data and just a bunch of other input data and then filter it all down into making a command choice for the weather station to execute some kind of action like turn on a heater or something like that. And all it would have to do is output like a single number or something that would represent turn on the heater. Like number one represents turn on heater. Number two represents turn off the heater, et cetera, et cetera. That's the kind of use cases that this would be perfect for. So let's dive right in. First off, you're gonna need a Raspberry Pi 5, four gigabyte. If you have an eight gigabyte Pi 5, that's fine. It'll run even faster. So here we are with a fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. First, let's run the standard update and upgrade commands so we're ready to go. We'll open a terminal window, and then we send through the command. And this process can take a few minutes. During the upgrade command, you may reach a point like this. All you do is type Y and then enter. Next, we're gonna clone the overload repo to this Pi. After that, we'll navigate into the folder that it just created. Next, we need to set the permissions for the install script so it can run. And then we just run the install script. And don't worry, I'll put all these commands in the description of this video. This install can take a while as well. Once the install is finished, you'll see this message. Now, the one thing the script doesn't do for you is download the actual Mistral 7B model weights because you need approval from Hugging Face for that. So, it's easy to do. You just make an account and then ask for approval and you'll get approved. So, once you're approved, you create a folder inside the overload repo folder that you just created when you clone the repo and call that Mistral underscore 7B underscore instruct, just like the instructions say. Now we need to download the files for Mistral 7B Instruct version 0.3. We'll go to huggingface.co and then you'll need to log in and search for Mistral 7B Instruct version 0.3. Go ahead and click on it if you see it pop up right there. And once you're on the page for it, you'll go to the files tab. You'll need to get approval first before you can download the files. I'm not showing that here because I'm already approved. But yeah, it's easy. There's just a little button you click. So one thing I like doing is changing my download folder to the folder that I want the model files to be in. That way I don't have to transfer it later. So let's just go ahead and change that real quick. Go to home, then overload, Mistral 7B instruct, and we'll select that. Now, when we download all the files, they'll go straight to the folder we need them to be in. Once you got that done and you're approved, go ahead and start downloading all the files. Skip the consolidated.safetensors file. That's just a single file version of the three numbered safe tensors files. But you want the numbered ones, not the consolidated one. So skip that one. Now that you have all the files downloaded and overload is installed and ready to go, all you have to do is these three commands from the note on the install. We'll do this first one. These are just setting up the environment that it will run in. And you'll want to write these commands down somewhere because you'll use these three commands each time you want to run it. And on the last one, this is what actually runs overload. 
You'll see a couple warnings. Don't worry about those. You can ignore them. Once it asks for the prompt, you are good to go. We're going to ask, what color is the sky on the planet Mars? So it's generating. And like I said before, it takes about five minutes per word that it generates. And if you see this message, that means it is actually working. And after a while, you'll see the first token it generated along with how long it took to generate that token. And this is what it looks like after an hour. The sky on Mars appears reddish. This color is primarily due to high, it's most likely going to say levels of iron in the surface, blah, blah, blah. But you can see that it is working. This is Mistral 7B running on a Raspberry Pi with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And it is being run at full precision. So thanks for watching. If you've made it to this point, I'm going to assume you enjoyed the video. So please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support us and our future projects, please join the Patreon.